Hi friends, I'm going to simplify something really complicated making it simple. How autopilot works and why other manufacturers are failing and will eventually fail. I will also cover what Tesla is doing now to massively leapfrog their lead in autopilot development. If they are successful and I give it like a 99% probability, Tesla will open up a market so big the future is going to be absolutely crazy. Tesla cars come with a set of sensors, 8 video cameras for the near and far, 12 ultrasonics for near objects, I think about 8 meters, and a front radar that sees up to 160 meters ahead through snow, sand, fog, etc. So how Tesla Autopilot works now and in the past. You see, Tesla's Autopilot hardware will process images individually and feed it to an AI. So the AI makes hundreds of decisions per second. How does the AI learn? So whenever there's some kind of human intervention, meaning like the driver takes over the autopilot, the car will send the error back to Tesla. And this error is fed into an AI artificial intelligence learning loop. So that's how it gets better and better. So why do I think this is the best way? See, as an engineer, I can tell you that there is no way programming for every sing single scenario that happens. For example, there's like infinite possibilities like 1 million ways your car can get hit or 1 million ways a pedestrian will hit will jump onto the road or 1 million ways a cyclist will, will cycle. So there's no way to program for such things. The only way around this is to program the artificial intelligence to think like a human. So Tesla's choice of sensors makes the most sense in the industry. They are cheap cameras and sensors that are used. Tesla don't use expensive stuff like LiDAR, like what every other manufacturer is doing. What is LiDAR? LiDAR works by firing invisible laser beams in all directions and catching the reflections to figure out where are the objects. See, though LiDAR is pretty accurate and maybe the obvious first choice, LiDAR has so much more downfalls. For example, it's expensive, it needs maintenance, and can't really work when there is fog or haze because it's a laser sensor. So Tesla's approach also makes plenty of sense. We human drives with only two eyes and a brain. Meaning to say, it's the same as having two front cameras and one AI system. Our brain uses the information given by the eyes and makes sense of it. So currently, because Tesla autopilot systems is so advanced, you are nine times, nine times less likely to get into an accident. So during like last year's Q3 2019 uh, report, Tesla reported one accident for every 4.34 million miles driven with autopilot. The national average is like one accident every 0.5 million miles. Can you imagine the mind-blowing numbers? So what is Tesla doing now and the future for Tesla Autopilot? So you see, halfway they decided to rewrite the entire Autopilot code despite it being the best system out there. Why? It's, it's definitely like a, the worst thing would be like we want to do some dumb design and stick with our dumb design. Right. That, that would be insane. Right. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> There is no point optimizing for something that sucks. That is what Intel is doing now. Everybody is like moving towards a 5 nanometer architecture while they are freaking stuck at 10. There is also another example. Like Elon will be the only person launching stainless steel rockets into space other than using composites. If you understand the genius of that, you'll be freaking mind blown. Anyway, I don't want to like deviate from the topic. So back to the autopilot code. They decided like sometime last year, uh, hey, I think there is a better way. And they started the painful process to rewrite what they've done over five years. So this is how the new code is written. Okay, remember I showed you this? So instead of processing the videos individually, they are now processed as one. So because all the pictures are grouped together and processed as one, it frees up a lot of processing power. And the remaining processing power is used to form a 3D representation of the surroundings, which is exactly what humans do. I'll play you a clip from Tesla last year. So here's a video going down, I think this is San Francisco, of a Tesla. So this, these are our cameras, our sensing. And we're looking at all, I'm only showing the main camera, but all the cameras are turned on, the eight cameras of the autopilot. And if you just have this six second clip, what you can do is you can stitch up this environment in 3D using multi-view stereo techniques. 
So obstruction of those six seconds of that car driving through that path. And you can see that this information is purely, is, is very well recoverable uh, from just videos. And roughly that's through process of triangulation and as I mentioned, multi-view stereo. And we've applied similar techniques, uh, slightly more sparse and approximate also in the car. From the video, you'll notice Tesla's AI using moving 2D images to create a 3D representation of the environment. So from an engineering point of view, you know, that is like freaking mind blowing. It's like, I'm certain Tesla has the talent to do it and they are the only one that do it because the best always attracts the best. I do not know when this technology, they will push this out, but I have a feeling it will be this year. So now let's assume that after a few years of pushing this system out, this technology out, the authorities given Tesla the go ahead for full autonomy. So these are all the possible scenarios that can happen. So think about it. Number one, Uber is dead. Why do you need an Uber anymore? When your car is not being used by you, it could, you could let it go around and work for you to pick up passengers and you earn money out of it. The second thing to happen is the cost to travel per mile will drop significantly because you know, free labor. So when cost per mile drop, people actually may not need to own a car anymore. And because of less car on the road, it frees up the road, it frees up pollution, and it is a whole good cycle ongoing. The fourth thing that could happen is like when your car needs servicing, it could drive itself to the service stations. And number five, no parking problems. Your car can drop you off at work and park somewhere cheaper or somewhere that is free. Number six, when the weather gets really bad, it picks you up from the pickup point. Number seven, flying short distances may not make sense anymore. No more checking in, boarding and stuff. So like if you include like boarding, checking in into your location, you fly that one hour, sometimes it makes more sense just to drive over. Number eight, you could send your car to pick up your loved one. So you do not need to go and pick them up. You could, number nine, you could send your car to pick up your food. Number 10, other car manufacturers will buy Tesla's technology and ho 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 ho. I could go on and on, but uh, I think I'll end it here at point number 10. If you have any more to add, do add it in the comments below. I read every single comment and I'll kind of like record it if any ideas that you have. So think about the infinite possibilities when this happened. It's not a matter of time if it's whether it's going to happen or not. It will happen and this is the future. This is where I think Tesla is highly undervalued. The stock market has not priced in for the above scenarios. The markets are only pricing in for Tesla's lead in electric vehicles. That's it. If you fully price in the lead of electric vehicles, that will probably bring the stock to about three to $4,000 in a few years. However, if they solve for full autonomy, full self-driving, that is where the entire market is going to get in a shock. And in my opinion, I'm like looking at 10 years down the road and personally, if they do it, they will become the biggest company on this planet. I hope you enjoyed this episode and learned something new. And again, thanks for liking the video. Your effort really helped so much in the growth of this channel. And I really appreciate for every single like out there. Take care again and invest safe.